Hey guys, I hope everyone's day is going well. Today we're going to be looking at a very, very cool yo-yo that just came out. It is none other than the MK1 Yo-Yo's Exia with brass rings. As usual, I'll give credit where credit is due. I want to give a huge shout out to MK1 Yo-Yo's for sending me this yo-yo. I've done a ton of videos with MK1 Yo-Yo's and their different products, and I've really, really been impressed with theirs. I think this one is a very exceptional yo-yo, so I'm super excited to be talking about it. By the way, I'll have all of their links and contact information in the description down below, so be sure to check them out at the end of this video. Now, in terms of just a bit of history on this yo-yo itself. A while back, I reviewed a yo-yo from MK1 Yo-Yos called the Exia, and I really, really liked it, and I still do. That yo-yo is absolutely excellent. It's well-balanced, it performs well, it's really fun to play with, it's got a super comfortable shape, and it's generally just a great feat of engineering. So now they've come back with a new version of the Exia, but featuring brass rings. So if you guys remember from the original Exia, that had stainless steel rims. Now they put in brass rings to give a different weight distribution, kind of change up how the yo-yo plays, and I think it's a really smart decision. In terms of my experience of playing with yo-yos that are both aluminum and brass, I don't have too much experience. However, I did used to use the Yo-Yo Factory Blade as my competition throw, which had those brass rings. And so I am super excited to be talking about this yo-yo and comparing it also to the MK1 Yo-Yo's Exia, which I'll be doing later in this video. So to give you guys a baseline idea as to what the brass ring MK1 Yo-Yo's Exia is all about, I'm going to throw the specs of the yo-yo on the screen, and then I'm also going to show the specs of the original original Exia, so you guys can just get a little bit of a comparison right there. Okay, so as you guys saw right there, the MK1 Yo's original Exia and the Brass Ring Edition are almost identical in specs. In terms of appearance, the Exia and Brass Ring Exia are nearly identical, I would say. You'll obviously see that those rings, instead of being silver, are brass colored on this new yo-yo here. But in general, appearance, design, shape, all of that good stuff is really pretty much the same. There's just that one difference there of the brass rings. So this yo-yo is featuring that really nice wide shape that I know and love. Obviously, it's got a nice cup there with a lot of cuts and that big brass ring right there, which looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, that was a pretty quick overview of the appearance of this yo-yo. Again, I didn't take too long since it is really, really similar in terms of design to the original Exia. But now we can talk about play, which is where things get a little bit different. So in terms of play, the MK1 yo-yo's Exia with brass rings just feels like a more solid and a little bit more heavy version of the original Exia. And so in my opinion, this yo-yo absolutely reminds me of the Exia. And for obvious reasons, Reasons. It's pretty much the exact same shape and specs and everything like that with just that change in material there. I'll bring some context into the situation. Sometimes I've reviewed yo-yos that started out as just a monometal and then they made a bimetal, and frequently those yo-yos play very, very different. They don't really feel related. This is not the case. The brass ring Exia and original Exia play quite similarly. However, the brass ring just feels a lot more stable. It spins for a lot longer. It's so much more powerful, but it does have a little bit more of a hefty feel to it. So just as a refresher, how does the Exia, the original one, play? It plays very maneuverable. It has a really nice open shape, super wide gap. I really love that. And it also has that fun feel. Well, in my opinion, the brass ring Exia has very similar attributes. However, it is slightly different in that one dimension, and that's just the kind of weighty and solid feel to it. So it still does play very, very fun. It still has an amazing weight distribution and feels very comfortable when it comes back to your hand. It obviously still is a very high performing yo-yo and feels like a really nice competition throw, but it's almost as if they just increased the weight of those stainless steel rims immensely and made this just feel like an even more rim weighted yo-yo with a lot more power, a lot, a lot more stability, but a little bit less maneuverability and agility. And so this is especially apparent on fast tricks. If you're doing a really, really fast trick with the original Exia, you'll notice, you know, you have no problem picking up a speed and changing direction, it feels like a nimble, nimble yo-yo. But with the Brass Ring Exia, it does play a little bit more slowly. You're going to have to put in some more effort to get it up to top speed and change direction and things like that. However, with that added kind of hefty feel to it, it also spins for way longer and has a much more reassuring feel on the string. And so I think what MK1 has kind of done here is they've made two options for two different types of players. If you prefer a very light and nimble yo-yo, the original Exia is probably going to be your best bet. It's not that the original Exia has bad weight distribution or doesn't spin for long. It still is a very, very long spinning and powerful yo-yo. The difference is that the Exia with brass rings has a much more solid and long spinning feel, if that makes sense. It still is gonna have that great design and really comfortable shape that comes back to your hand nicely, 
but it's gonna have way more stability, way more power, but also a more reluctant kind of moving feel. It's a cool option to kind of have two different areas for different players, some who prefer a more light and nimble feel and some that prefer a more hefty feel. In my opinion, I honestly prefer the Brass Ring Exia. I definitely do some tricks that are a little bit faster and it can be a little bit difficult, but the reassurance and stability of the Brass Ring Exia is just a force to be reckoned with. This yo, -yo feels so reassuring and powerful and I have absolutely no doubt that it'll be able to get through my long combo and then some. Obviously, this yo, -yo is great for whips and slacks and hops and all those different types of tricks that require a good gap. I absolutely love the shape of the Exia and have been a big fan for years. Okay, and that's about it for my review of the MK1 Yo-Yo's Brass Exia. I know this is a little bit shorter of a review, but in general, just in summary, it has a very similar and nearly identical design to the original Exia. It plays a lot more steady, stable, more powerful, more long spinning, but with a more reluctant feel. So if you prefer a more light and agile feel and don't need a ton and a ton of stability, then I think the Exia is a great option. But if you really value that incredible stability and rim weighted feel and don't play super fast, I think the brass option is an excellent choice. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to MK1 Yo-Yos for sending me this yo-yo. The Exia has been an absolute constant in my yo-yo collection. I've loved it so much and literally play with it every single week. And now that I kind of have a second and slightly different one, it really completes the package. I'm super excited to see what they put out next because I know it'll be a great yo-yo. Okay, and that's about it for my review of the MK1 Yo-Yos Brass Exia. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit that subscribe button so you can see whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys all have a great yesterday. I'll see you next time. Peace.